Democrats in Lansing have put forward a package of 11 bills aiming to repeal restrictions on abortions and codify reproductive health. In both chambers of the Michigan State Legislature, Democrats have a slim majority, meaning all of them have to vote in favor of any legislation they want to pass or a Republican must join them for every Democrat who votes no. Democratic Representative Karen Whitsett has said she will vote no on this package of bills, putting its future in doubt. Well, Representative Whitsett joins us now over Zoom. We appreciate you being with us tonight. Thank you for having me. So can you explain what is your opposition here to these bills currently being considered? Well, the bills that are currently being considered, um, it's not just myself. I just happen to be the only person that's on the committee to vote no. There are actually seven of us that are not in support of things as it stands. Being my, um, myself, I was raped. I have gone through a termination before. I have done the 24 hour pause, which is one of the issues that we do not feel that pausing for 24 hours to be able to make that important decision is too much to ask. Now, can these things be tweaked as far as that's concerned? The restrictions around abortion clinics, there are some things that are there within the restrictions for the abortion clinic. Yes, those are some things that are in there that do not make any sense. And this is what the process is about. It's about tweaking these things to ensure that we have the safety within the community. I am a black woman. These issues are for black women as well. I want to ensure that they are always receiving safe and accessible abortions. I do not, we can't go backwards on this. You know, once this is done, it's done. So we have to ensure that we get this right. So some of the sponsors of the bills have signaled that they are open to finding some common ground. And it sounds like based on what you just said, you are willing to compromise a bit. Where might that common Absolutely. ground be found? Absolutely. I'm willing to compromise on these things. I mean, just for example, you know, you do a 24 hour consent. OK, I understand about the paperwork and everything else. Well, let's talk about DocuSign. There's other options to be able to do things, you know, um, fetuses being disposed of. I think those are things that we need to talk about. There are some real conversations that need to be had. And yes, I'm in support of the package. I am prop three. I went out with Planned Parenthood. I spoke in regards to even my termination, as I said. I've done this. So I'm not opposed to anything. I just want to make sure we get this right. So you will not support late term elective abortion bills. And so where do you draw the line? What, 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 in your opinion, what is the big ones here that you're going to draw the line on? Medicaid funded abortions is where I draw the line at. That is something that within my community that I have gone out and I have spoken to people who have contacted me. They are not in favor of that. That is not what we discussed when we were discussing Prop 3. That was not the conversation at all. So, like I said, it's not just myself. If this vote was to hit the floor tomorrow, the votes are not there. I am not the only person. And to clarify that stance, it's Medicaid-funded uh, elective abortions that you were against or even medically necessary abortions? No, medically necessary, you know, you know, come on. We're talking about people's lives. Rape, incest, necessary for the mother's life, absolutely, without a doubt. There's no question about that. So this is obviously a touchy subject. What do you think it's going to take for everyone to come together and agree on something here? Well, we need to continue to have these conversations. I wish we could have had these conversations. We had the conversation. We did not work on it in a timely fashion before this came up in committee, which is why I was a no vote. But these conversations need to be had because, like I said, once we've done this, it can't be undone. And I have to protect women. I definitely have to protect those who are the most vulnerable. So these bills have been a huge priority, not only for Governor Whitmer, but for many of your fellow Democrats. Uh, mm -hmm. Are you facing any pressure? What are the conversations being had within the party right now, now that this has been announced, that you don't want to support this in its current form? Well, like I said, I'm not the only person. So this conversation is actually being had with a group of us. So, you know, we're going to work towards making sure we can get this resolved and that everyone is on the same page and that we can move this forward. Have you spoken to Governor Gretchen Whitmer about this? And if so, what have those conversations been like? No, I have not had those conversations with her. I've had the conversations with the Speaker of the House. 
uh, Planned Parenthood tweeted or, or posted on X that you are betraying your constituents. How do you respond to that? I'm, I'm here to represent the people of my district. I am their voice, and I'm the voice of the conversations that we have been having. I will never defer from that. I will always do that, no matter what I always have from day one, and I will continue to do so. So I, and like I said, I am out here, I'm telling my story. You know, this is something that I have gone through personally. So I'm not trying to put undue obstacles there for anyone. A rape is a very traumatic situation that I endured. So I'm not trying to have anyone go through something that's unnecessary. But like I said, I want to make sure we get these things right, because once they're done, they can't be undone. Yeah. Well, Democratic State Representative Karen Witset, we appreciate you joining us tonight to talk about this. Thank you. I appreciate you having me.